My name is Mark Moreeve. I'm a director of photography. Pan tilt zoom cameras, or PTZ cameras as we call them, are being used everywhere. When the pandemic struck, I had to find more work. My corporate clients at the time wanted to keep on working with virtual productions. It might be an AGM or a conference, and PTZ cameras became a major part of that. I've used Canon products all the way through my life. I love the image and the look that you get from Canon cameras. The Canon CRN 700 camera is a particularly fantastic PTZ camera as it has a very versatile 25 to 382 mm lens, really good low light performance and a much sharper image than you find in a lot of other PTZ cameras. Canon have recently announced two new apps for the CRN 700, an auto loop app and an auto tracking app. And I've been lucky enough to try them both and, and they are incredibly intuitive to use. Today we've come down to this university and we're filming a lecturer and uh, we're live streaming it to the students so that they can watch in real time. It was a fantastic opportunity to actually try out the auto tracking feature. What's very interesting with this tracking app is that the tracking app is inside the camera. Whenever I've seen this sort of software before, it always requires another computer to run it. This chemical reaction ignited those bubbles into the air. One of the things that I really, really like about it is that you're able to choose the head height. So if you want them to be in the center of the frame and you want lots of headroom, you can do that. If you want them to be on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, you can do exactly that. It gives you lots and lots of options. Something that I really liked was that you were able to set the area where the camera would track in. It was really precise. It was zoomed all the way in and was able to capture the lecturer talking and track with him as he moved up and down the stage or across the stage. But there was a part of the stage I didn't want to see. It was a dark area where it wasn't too tidy. So I just put a frame around that area and said, I don't want you to track in there. And it worked really, really well. Another aspect that I really liked was you can set the tracking sensitivity. So it doesn't feel so robotic. It feels much more organic. It feels like a human is operating a camera. Canon are also bringing out an auto loop app, which I had the chance to use recently on a, on a live music production. What was fantastic was I had five cameras running again and this one camera I was able to set the different shots that I wanted and it would move really smoothly in between each shot. I could control the speed of that movement, allowing it to look so much more organic and I can then concern myself with the other cameras in the production. There are two different looping modes. One that moves from, let's say, point A to point B to point C and then back from C to B to A again or it can loop, it can go literally from point A, B, C, around to A, B, C again. You're able to control the speed of how long it takes to do that, but also if the camera should stop before it tears the movement. And the importance of that, especially in a pre-recording, is it gives the editor handles so that they can grab that shot for the edit. Having now tested these two apps, I really am excited to get them into my cameras. I really do believe they'll add quite a lot of production value. I think going forward in the future, my clients will absolutely love them. Mm -hmm.